to war with the nation of Japan and its people, but we waged a quiet war against many Japanese Americans that were living right here in America. They were considered the enemy within. It was almost mass hysteria on the west coast where a majority of Japanese Americans were living. Many felt that they could become a threat and that some of them were even spies for Japan. As a result, the U.S. government forced more than 120,000 Japanese Americans from their homes, farms, schools, jobs, and businesses to relocate the 10 different internment camps throughout the western part of the United States. Today we will focus on the kids and community life in one of those camps located near Powell, Wyoming, Heart Mountain. One of the saddest parts for the internees was the breakdown of the family because they had few facilities in their apartment they had to eat together, do laundry together, and basically live together. Even through all these obstacles, the internees formed schools, hospitals, and even a local newspaper, all organized by their government. Wait a minute, they formed their own government? Yes. In order for all of these social structures to develop, they had to form a simple government. I'm beginning to get the idea now. Even though they were there against their will, they formed a community that they were proud to be a part of. In 1942, at the Heart Mountain Relocation Camp, a child's life was much different than others their age. Hey, what are your favorite winter activities? I love sledding down Kendra Kill. What's yours? I enjoy ice skating at the ice rink. Well, actually, these were the activities that the children at Heart Mountain were able to do. But instead of a nice, smooth ice skating rink, the interns skated on the area that had been flooded by the fire hydrants. After the end of the war, all of the internment camps were disbanded. Many of the families had nowhere to go and no homes to go home to. Some were given $25 and a train ticket to their destinations. Today, that $25 wouldn't even fill up a tank of gas in a normal-sized car. Never again can the U.S. government put American citizens into internment camps like they did to the Japanese Americans during World War II. We have definitely grown as a nation since then against racial prejudice, but there still remains a great deal of it everywhere you go. I wonder if there will ever be a time in our lives that we will have total peace amongst ourselves. We can only continue to hope for that day to come.